Hello and good morning. Uh, today's lecture is about the polycythemia vera. First of all, I talk about, start talking about the polycythemia. What is polycythemia? It is a blood disorder in which the body produces too many blood cells as a result of problem with the bone marrow or increased erythropoietin which is produced by the kidney. Okay, and it is denoted that hemoglobin is markedly increased in the polycythemia and uh, often polycythemia patients are detected with elevated level of hemoglobin or hematocrit levels and normal he, uh, hemoglobin levels are 12 to 16 for females and 14 to 18 for males and HP above 16 in females, 18 in males is considered polycythemia. Okay, now we'll come to the classification of polycythemia. Uh, there are two types of classification, uh, uh, relative or absolute. And uh, a relative can be cured and absolute cannot be. There are two types, primary, secondary, appropriate and inappropriate. So, a uh, relative polycythemia is due to the uh, low volume states, uh, for example, when there is a serious uh, water loss from the body in dehydration, burns, vomiting, diarrhea, uh, uh, etc. And in absolute uh, polycythemia, it is divided into two types, primary and secondary. Uh, primary polycythemia is due to polycythemia vera, uh, meaning that there is a, a problem with the bone marrow. And in secondary polycythemia, it occurs due to hypoxia. Uh, hypoxia means whenever there is less oxygen available to the body. Uh, for example, in high altitude, here you can see when you go to the high altitude, you uh, will face uh, hypoxia and in lung diseases for example in asthma maybe and cyanotic heart disease uh, in which there is not enough uh, nutrients and blood for the heart and uh, EPO secreting tumors if they are uh, tumors in the kidney secreting more eth erythropoietin and it can cause a secondary polycythemia so what is polycythemia vera? Uh, we, we will see it. Uh, polycythemia vera is a slow growing type of blood cancer. Uh, uh, blood cancer and uh, it uh, uh, makes uh, more red blood cells, white blood cells and megakaryocytes meaning platelets and uh, uh, it is written here as well and uh, it is a uh, uh, clonal stem disorder uh, and uh, the stem cells are basically uh, induced to become uh, red blood cells and uh, pluripotent progenitor cells are formed and then erythroid, myeloid and megakaryotic progenitor cells are formed megakaryotic means uh, platelets so and it is due uh, to the uh, uh, mutation in the gene genus kinase 2 okay we don't need to concern ourselves with it. Uh, risk factors, um, polycythemia vera uh, can be developed in people with age of 60 years and uh, it is very rare in people younger than 20 and it affects men more than women and uh, in family history it can be in your genes for example uh, JKA2 uh, genetic mutation okay so its features uh, as you can see, there's an itching due to um, excessive uh, uh, blood and uh, there is a tiredness, uh, fatigue. So, in early stages, polycythemia vera usually doesn't cause any signs or symptoms, but as uh, you progress with the disease, there's a headache, dizziness, itchiness, redness of the skin due to the uh, excessive blood, shortness of breath because you have to provide uh, uh, more oxygen to the more red blood cells, which is very, um, very uh, tall. It takes toll on the lungs basically, and. Uh, 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 and it causes fatigue and fullness and bloating in your left abdomen uh, etc and uh, it uh, may be due to the bleeding complications uh, for example maybe in pregnancies um, 
or due to excessive uh, bleeding, gum bleeding, or as you can see, thrombosis and thrombosis, and in peptic ulcers, uh, when there is a bleeding involved, uh, it will it may cause polycythemia vera and uh, increased histamine levels and gastric acidity. Um, when there is more histamine, it will produce more SCL, and uh, uh, that's pretty much it. So uh, we go to the diagnosis. Uh, uh, the main uh, factor or uh, the main test uh, by which uh, we can uh, detect polycythemia vera is the blood test and it is the very important one because when you get to know the he uh, hemoglobin level of the patient uh, uh, which is, is 12 to 16 for females and uh, 14 to 18 for males and if the, it is, uh, the uh, HP is more in uh, the in in males or females we will uh, definitely know it is polycythemia vera and uh, there's an increased number of red blood cells uh, in increase in platelets or white blood cells uh, hematocrit measurement uh, it can be measured by ventro method uh, it is a very old method uh, but now machines are used as more modern methods so uh, hemoglobin elevation uh, no, lower than normal uh, levels of oxygen in your blood uh, it can be uh, performed as a as diagnosis because you know that it is a polycythemia vera and uh, uh, very low levels of erythropoietin. So, uh, bone marrow biopsy here you can see uh, aspiration is uh, uh, being performed of the hip bone in in the ileic crest and a sample is being taken directly from the patient uh, here you can see another picture this is the hip bone on the ileic crest and it is being pierced and the sample of the bone marrow is being collected and as you can see uh, this bone has been divided into two parts uh, this is the sagittal section number one and sagittal section number two and uh, this is the bone marrow present inside the bones as you can see uh, in which the blood is formed so and uh, that's pretty much it thank you very much for listening goodbye